Um, hey, welcome to the uh, Goldmine Gaming. Oh, wow, it's you. Yeah, uh, I was told you would be coming in. Um, you ordered uh, some games online and came to collect them in store. Yeah, uh, it usually works out a bit cheaper like that. The prices online are normally different to the ones in store. Uh, in the store, so it I do that a lot. I mean, I work in the shop, um, but I order the games online and just buy them in the shop. I just come in the next day and take them, although you know they're not actually here. It just you know recycles the stock. Uh, we're not really supposed to do that, but. Uh, so yeah, you've ordered how many games? <laughs> right, no worries. I'll uh, I'll bring up your list. Can I just get your um, postal address? Yeah. Uh, and your postcode. If that's all right. Some promotions on at the minute, uh, meaning you'll get some free goodies with uh, a couple of the games, uh, you know. And although you weren't uh, somebody who pre ordered them, who normally would get them, they've had a stock left over, so they're just uh, sending them with online uh, purchases, which is good for you, right? Uh, so, yeah. Here's your pile. Um, you've already paid for these, so we don't need to worry about money today, which is great. We can just focus on the games. Um, before you go, would you like to know anything about the games? Uh, about any of the items, the promotional items, anything like that? Yeah? Just Quick rundown. Ah, it's fine, it's no way. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You bought uh, Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. Yeah, that came with a promotional item, and I'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, so, yeah. You like Nintendo, obviously. So, if you've played things like Metroid and Diddy Kong and Pokemon. Things like that, you, you get to fight with all the characters. There's a really big roster of uh, fighters. Uh, just on the back, you've got Sheik, um, Zero Suit Samus, Luigi, King DDD. Um, you've got Mario, Link, Captain Falcon, Olimar, Charizard. Bowser, just to name a couple off of the back. Uh, personally, I like fighting as either Sheik or Ganondorf. Uh, Sheik's really quick. Um, she's a really quick uh, acrobatic fighter. Uh, so she's really good if you like that sort of style. Uh, whereas Ganondorf is the complete opposite. He's really slow and sluggish. Uh, but his hits are so powerful you gotta move you grab them you squeeze them and poof um that's like 30 percent man that's that's insane um there are a lot of um oh levels a lot of levels on 
Smash Bros. And obviously you can make them, I think it's Omega. So you can either have them really sort of lively where there's different things going on and the stage changes. Or you can have it like tournament rules where it's just a flat fighting ground and you just go mental. Um, what's good with this, uh, the 3DS one, is you can take, obviously it, you can take the game on the go wherever you want but if you've got friends uh, who are playing it on the Wii U or you go around to a friend's house and they're playing it on the Wii U and there are five of you you put this um, you put this into your 3DS and you have you use your 3DS as a controller um, I think people were complaining about some input lag at first I personally can't feel or see any sort of input lag which is great uh, I guess it's all down to how quick your reactions are and uh, I'm guessing people who are suffering with some input lag maybe have quicker reactions than me um, sorry that was my phone I'm professional uh, really we're supposed to take them uh, out of our pockets put them in a locker uh, but it's my phone not sticking it in a lock. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's just a really good game. It's something you can play on the bus or on the train, uh, or just if you're having a lazy day, you don't really feel like doing anything. Just grab, grab Smash Bros and beat up a Green Mario. Um, I mean Luigi. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah, the promotional gift you've got is the soundtrack which really was only on the Nintendo store but when they um, stopped making them I think they were on the Nintendo store either way uh, too many were made and not enough got shipped out so they just started selling them alongside the 3DS version um, so that is why you've got that today and if you like the music in the uh, Smash Brothers game or in Nintendo games like um, Legend of Zelda I've got a lot on here of Legend of the Legends of Zelda uh, and Mario if you like the soundtracks you can listen to them you've got two discs you've got a red red disc and a blue disc um, the red disc has all of the tracks from the 3DS game and the blue disc has all of the tracks from the Wii U version and there's not a massive difference um, you just get you know obviously uh, more songs you get lots of songs on the uh, on, on the album altogether uh, but in terms of the game there's not a massive difference the Wii U version looks uh, slightly nicer but obviously that's because it has uh, more graphical power to uh, run the game but uh, you've made a good choice getting the 3DS one uh, it's by far my favourite version of it um, but yeah the soundtrack I tried listening to it in my car uh, on long journeys but I just found that it's not really one of those albums it's more to me anyway an album that you get put in your collection and you're just proud to own um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're like. You might, you might enjoy listening to the uh, songs of Nintendo. Oh, nice choice! Nice choice. You don't, you don't remember buying Ocarina? Oh, how could you not remember buying Ocarina? It's the best game. I've personally played it's my favorite personal game um, and I'm so glad they made it handheld like this uh, and they didn't ruin it they implemented a lot of different controls uh, like using the camera um, or the gyro inside the console that was a really good touch so things like your bow uh, your slingshot they all work, but 
by uh, looking around, which is really cool. Um, instead of using the uh, stick, or I think on the 64 you have to use the C pad, uh, different to the D pad, uh, the yellow buttons. Um, but they've improved the graphics, they've made it so pretty. Um, I didn't think they'd be able to do that with the graphics. Uh, I didn't think they'd actually do it anyway. I thought they'd just port it onto the 3DS and that would be that and it would just be a, a mess. But they really, really cleaned it up. For me, because of the control scheme now, it's definitely more uh, player. It's easier to play, it's more accessible to uh, everybody else because, as you might know, the Nintendo 64 controller was made for people with three hands. So it could get a little bit, you know, backwards and forwards, a bit, a bit confusing at times. Uh, but yeah, this was a really good choice. So you play as Link. Uh, he's the hero not Zelda which I mean I guess might annoy him a bit he's the hero of the game but he doesn't get a name in it he doesn't get his name well in this one I mean um, luckily they brought out other games obviously with Link's name in it uh, but yeah he plays Link and your mission is or your quest is to save Hyrule by fishing no. Uh, although the fishing game uh, is really good, the game you can spend. I mean, in terms of hours, if you want to just have a nice relaxing play, uh, and you don't want to, you don't want to smash through the game too quickly. You can do, you can finish the game relaxing twelve, fifteen hours. If you just want to fish or horse ride or dungeon crawl as well as doing the side quest as, as well as doing the main quest um, but you can if you're a bit like me and you like to play the game and then try and beat your score you can complete it in a few hours there is a there is something you can do to complete the game in about 20 minutes 30 minutes but we don't talk about that because that is cheating. We are cheating games. And that's for playing a PlayStation 2 game and we go on the internet to find out how to get a jetpack in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, but yeah, you've made a really good choice here. Uh, I can't believe you forgot you bought it. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. I think this one was on sale, I believe. 30% off. Yeah, yeah, 30% off. Um so you've not spent like the full retail price on this so i guess if you've forgotten that you've bought it it's not so bad uh did you bring the email with you no ah oh, that's unfortunate um it it just you can enter a competition in store if you bring in the email uh i think maybe if you bring it in on another day you might be able to enter in um, anyway just drop by say hey um, and we'll see what we can do we'll just try and enter you anyway uh, but yeah let's move on you have bought Bloodborne now you'd think this game was an 18 and that I'd have to try and ID you but it's a 16 so aren't you lucky um, I mean, it's a really tough. Do you like grinding in games? And like, I mean, really working, going backwards and forwards, and dying a lot. You'll see you are dead more times in the game than anything else. It will become your best friend. You will learn to love it or hate it. Uh, yeah, what I really loved about this game, uh, well, especially the case, what I loved about the case was um, it's reversible. So as you get that Bloodborne, or that Bloodborne, 
and it's got the same information on the back and front uh, it's just one's white one's black personally personally I like the black one uh, because it shows off some of the gothic um, structures in it and this game is very very gothic um, which is a, a good thing because it's sort of set quite a while uh, quite a while ago I can't tell you for sure when it was set when it is set uh, but I know it was set a long time ago so the, uh, the gothic uh, graphical style really does improve the game uh, I'll just move my chair forward a little bit there you go um, so what's really good um, is although it's very hard and grindy uh, when you do something defeat a boss get through uh, an area you do feel like you sorry you do feel like you have accomplished something uh, not like games like maybe Call of Duty where you're expected to finish the game in about five hours. This game you will not finish in like five hours uh, unless you're a pro. I couldn't, I haven't finished this game in five hours, and to be honest, I haven't finished this game. Um, oh, yeah, I've, I've got it, it's brilliant. Um, some of the things they've said are profoundly chilling. Um, yes. Yes, it is. You really sort of get pulled into the game because of uh, the way the game looks and how the game grabs you. Some of the sound uh, design isn't quite there. Um, they sort of pulled in some of the older sound uh, clips and put them in there like water sounds like splashing through water sounds a lot like dark souls and i think they did actually bring in the uh, sound effects of that it's not a bad thing it's just they sound a bit dated by now uh, stunningly picturesque yeah i guess you could say that radically redefines the combat of its spiritual predecessors yes it does uh, if you didn't know this game came from Dark Souls, Demon Souls things like that um, where you could use a shield and your sword and your bash and shield bash shield this it's more shoot and run away um, it's they, did, they have changed a lot um, in terms of uh, the fighting <coughs> it's not a bad thing though. Um, it really does try and just chuck you into the action though, uh, because things run at you um, they've got really good reach as well a lot of the, uh, a lot of the enemies especially as you progress uh, the weapons get bigger or they get bigger which can become a bit of a pain um, but yeah, overall the game is really, really fun. Um, especially when you get used to the fact that you're going to be uh, grinding a lot and it makes it a bit of an adventure. Uh, you will be killed and then you'll make it your mission uh, to go back and kill whatever killed you because you drop your uh, blood, blood some things I can't quite remember what they're called blood souls blood echoes you drop your blood echoes and then um, you go back and pick them up but you make it your mission to go back it's like a revenge mission to go and kill that bird that ladders on your head and kill you um, so yeah it makes you feel a bit like a badass and I, I like games like that uh, project cars you like racing games um, 
have you seen anything on Project Cars? Have you played anything? Uh, no, we've got a uh, we've got Project Cars set up just by the entrance um, on the PlayStation Four. Um, I mean, you've bought it now. I mean, I'm not sure if we can do a refund at this point. Um, maybe if you bought an email. Uh, but yeah, just give it a go. It's not like your normal Forza or uh, maybe Gran Turismo. It's brutal. It's really, really difficult. Um, especially if you turn off your assists. You'll be going through a corner. The car will fight you. Uh, with a steering wheel, it makes it even harder. Or easier, depending on if you race with a steering wheel normally. Um, but the, the car will try and fight you into the corners. You'll come out of a corner. The car will jerk because there's a sudden uh, change in steering, especially if you've been going a little bit sideways. And it will probably throw you off the track. Uh, they've designed the cars really well as well. I drove the first time I played this game and it put me on a practice lap. I did it in the uh, Lotus Rhino Turbo. Uh, I didn't expect a turbo lag. Games don't normally do a turbo lag. But the Lotus Turbo did have turbo lag. So it sort of kicked me off. I thought this is fine. Full throttle, cold wheels, whatever. The guy said, go easy on the throttle, go easy on the brakes. Car's cold, so I ignored him. Foot down, turbo kicked in. I span off, wheel fell off. So uh, that sort of, you know, tells you to listen. You don't really hear much of the guy talking, though, throughout the rest of the game. But yeah, the graphics on this game are superb. The rain is amazing. It's got uh, random, well, you can set it all to randomly generated weather. So you'll be going through uh, a race, halfway through the race, it might start raining and thunder, and you'll have to jump back into the pits to get your wet weather tyres on. Maybe try one more lap to see if the rain will stop. Um, but it gets extremely difficult if you're racing on a wet track with puddles and you've got slicks on. That's really difficult. You've got to, you basically come to a uh, crawl. Um, I'd say maybe Drive Club, possibly Pipsy. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Uh, Drive Club and Project Cars both look amazing <coughs> but they both play differently I choose Project Cars over Drive Club uh, because it plays like a simulator <coughs> whereas Drive Club plays sort of on that line where it's arcadey and it's simulator which is good sometimes bad I liked it anyway you're gonna like this. Do you wear hats often? Sometimes. Well, I like the fact that you bought Splatoon. Have you? I take it you've seen the adverts on TV, on YouTube. Yeah. It's as good as it looks. It really is. You. It's uh, <coughs> an online game. You can play offline, but online is definitely where you want to be playing. Got an internet connection? Yeah, good. Um, well, you've got two teams of four. And you've got three minutes to cover the world in paint. Uh, if you see your enemy, splat him with paint as much as you can until he pops. Um, <coughs> you can get amiibos for this, but I don't personally like amiibos. But I guess it's down to you. Uh, you get different weapons. Um, different power-ups, things like that, which you only achieve once you've painted a certain amount of the world. So you've got to contribute. You can't just stand in the corner and win. At the end, uh, it tells you by percentage which team has painted the most. Uh, and it can get really close sometimes. Um, 
Burrow can get really, really terrible. Really good as well. Um, but you can get like a 50 50 split. Unless you're on the team that just doesn't care, you end up getting destroyed like 80% to 20, vice versa. Uh, but this game is the first really, really just genuinely fun game that I've played in a long time. Uh, and lucky for you, you have a Splatoon Squid Hat. You want me to try it? Okay. This is what the Splatoon Squid Hat looks like. Isn't that just the best thing ever? Yeah, so uh, that is yours. I've got one. It's ridiculously hot. Um, so don't don't underestimate the power of the Squid Hat. It gets really warm. But, uh, there's yeah a few different weapons. Mainly guns. Guns seem to be obviously the most popular one. You've got a paint roller. It paints a <coughs> quite a wide area and you just run along with it. You can turn into a squid and that's how you move along uh, really quickly. You like dive into the paint and shoot along. Uh, you can stay pretty hidden as well, like that. Um, but and that is also how you refill your ink because you don't get unlimited ink. You've got to keep refilling your tank and uh, diving into the ink as a squid is how you regenerate your ink supply. Um, the off offline or single player mode is okay. Um, it gets a bit boring. I will say it gets a bit boring. The online is definitely what you want to be playing when you're playing this game. Um, so yeah. It's a good choice. It's a really good choice. Um, there's not really a lot to say. It's just fun. Which is good because <coughs> there haven't been many games uh, out recently that are just purely fun. A lot of them try too hard to uh, be the next best seller, best shooter, best racing game. But this one's just that like, you know, I'm a game. You're supposed to enjoy me. Have fun. Right, did you by any chance hear that Bethesda are at, e are at E3? Yeah, I thought so. Um, Fallout 3. Now, I think, and I think it's a pretty uh, obvious thing by now, I think they may have announced it, uh, I don't know, uh, but Fallout 4 is like 95% going to be a T3 uh, it will be a huge surprise if they don't announce it at E3 um, but yeah I take it you wanted to get to know the series a bit more uh, have you played the originals uh, top down sort of view no uh, well if you pick up a PC um, you definitely feel like you Pick them up pretty cheap now, so definitely try that out. Uh, let me just grab my drink here, sorry. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, it's looking a bit dated now, but graphics aren't everything. Graphics are important in a game, um, but graphics aren't the be all end all of it. Um, it still looks really really good this game came out in I think 2008 or 9 <coughs> and um, yeah it's still looking really good the world is massive there's so much to do so much to explore I would definitely suggest getting the DLC packs for this game um, I think it's Brotherhood of Steel um, Operation Anchorage and Mothership Zeta. I think they're the three DLC packs. Three. Um, yeah, they, if you're going to get one, get Brotherhood of Steel. And uh, you can pick them up. I think it's £3 uh, on the live store. So definitely get the Brotherhood of Steel 
uh, I'm not going to give too much away but it just expands properly on this so you can continue the game uh, the way you want to play it so when you get in install the Brazil de Steel um, you you won't regret it you really won't um, yeah it's set in a post-apocalyptic world as you might have guessed um, if you've looked online at all yeah post-apocalyptic you've come out with a vault uh, vault 101 uh, 104 something I can't quite remember um, and he's sort of just chucked into this world and he's told roughly where to go but you end up not doing the main quest first and you get sidetracked uh, side quests come at you fairly quickly uh, but they're not time sensitive, so you can do them at your own pace. Um, I actually want a tattoo of a uh, little Fallout kid, um, Vault Boy. Um, I think they're called a Vault Boy. If I'm honest, I don't pay too much attention to the uh, um, little things like that in the game. It's more, I just enjoy. Uh, trying to take out like a behemoth's head with a sniper from miles away um, and just drop in um, nukes on people that's pretty fun I will admit that's pretty fun it's not supposed to be fun nuclear warfare is bad but in this they've done it really well if a behemoth comes after you you're gonna drop a nuclear warhead on his like on his family yeah they did it in the church so I guess that was a bit bad they were trying to kill me. Um, but yeah, the world is vast, it's massive, it's really fun. Um, I'm glad you've picked this up. I can't wait for E3 so we can find out what's going on. Uh, you've gone for the like the polar opposite of project cars, I see. Yeah, you already know. Mario Kart. Um, have you heard about the DLC for it? Yeah, um, you can play on uh, a couple of Legend of Zelda tracks, I believe, maybe one. Uh, there are two DLC packs introducing new characters, new tracks. But the game is definitely more refined than a uh, seven. The carts are amazing. I think, I think it runs at 60 frames a second. I'm not sure. Maybe it only runs at 30, but it looks just, oh, it looks so good. It, uh, you turn it on, you play, you really don't expect a Mario, Kart, a Mario Kart game to look this good. But it does. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, you end up finding a character you really love playing as. The fastest uh, class or fastest arrangement is a large character like Bowser with the sport bike and slick wheels. It's got ridiculously quick, uh, like fast rating. Its acceleration is really good. Um, or is the acceleration bad? I think the accel acceleration might be medium to bad uh, and it's really heavy but when you get up to speed in a straight line if there aren't many you end up passing the uh, competition really well I personally like playing the uh, shy guy on the caterpillar with red crimson wheels and the triforce flag it's great grip uh, great acceleration medium speed for those who like to go sideways into a corner um, so yeah stick with me stick with the shy guy shy guy all the way uh, motion controls uh, work really well um, you can use the gamepad nunchuck uh, nunchuck remote combo the pro pad the sort of 
oval shaped game pad sticking a steering wheel and uh, there's so many ways to play it I don't I don't mind really I play motion control <coughs> or with a stick um, I'm not really picky uh, but I'm telling you I'm pretty good at it so uh, we should go online we should uh, my name is, on the Wii U is Mr. Shmi uh, all one word capital on the M capital on the S uh, yeah I'll, I'll write it down for you uh, we should play it's really just great it's the opposite of proto cards that sort of tries to rip your face off whereas um, Mario Kart is just fun family party entertainment and I'm going to apologise now uh, there was a bit of mix up with one of your orders you ordered uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox One yeah um, that was sold in store yesterday I wasn't in yesterday um, but what we have done is we're giving you the 360 version for it the 360 version for free uh, so you can play it on that uh, we're ordering in a new Xbox One copy uh, so we'll either email you give you a call something like that let you know how it's in and you can pick that up and keep the Xbox 360 version for free so I guess it works out for you you get two games for the price of one so um, yeah it plays pretty much exactly the same it doesn't look as nice as the Xbox One version uh, a couple of the features are missing but either way you play you're still playing as Trevor um, Michael and Franklin uh, the main storyline is identical um, but yeah our mistake is beneficial to you so you get you gain from our mistake which again we really can't apologize more for um, it's set in Los Santos um, this big city uh, is like a desert area sand, sandy shores um, hilly areas it's massive and unlike your predecessors where you're sort of put into one island and then you've got to wait for the bridges to be fixed this is sort of you chucked into the game and that's it you chucked into the game do what you want you don't need to worry too much about um, crossing bridges things like that because everything's opened up to you straight away um, so yeah what we're gonna do is I'll find out for you now um, where your copy is copy should be it's expected to arrive um, on the 5th 5th of June is that all right um, yeah it's gonna be completely free and I'll, I'll flag it as a as an item of interest uh, so it won't get sold again um, again we're really sorry for um, so that's flagged for you uh, you just come in give them the name um, bring in the email address as well again we'll try and sort that out for you um, and yeah you, sh you should be getting your Xbox One version of Grand Theft Auto 5 so uh, yeah
Oh yeah, no, no worries. If you've got, I'll get some. You've got, I'll get some. Uh, I hope I didn't take up too much time explaining about the games. No. Uh, well, I'm glad I could help. Uh, I will grab these for you. I mean, this is well. So, would you like a bag? Cause they're five p. No, you're not bothered. Yeah, Wales, 5p, bag tax, a bit annoying. But you know, we don't pay for prescriptions, so it's not too bad. There are your games. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good one. I'll see you very soon, hopefully. Yeah, see you in a bit. Come on. Up, up, come down. I'll never be able to beat this game.